Hi. Now in an earlier video I showed you that if we've got a particle P moving along a straight line that after t units of time its position vector R was equal to its initial position vector at time t equals zero plus t times the velocity vector which was given in this equation here. Now what I want to do in this video is just take this equation and we'll just rearrange it so that we make V the subject. So if we do that we've got V equals R, the position vector at time t, minus the original position vector where it started from when t equals zero and we divide this all by the time taken. So we've got our general formula now for velocity. So it's the change in the position vectors divided by the time taken. We'll just do an example using this particular idea. So suppose we have a cycle and it's moving at a constant velocity and is at the point 5i minus 2j meters at time t equals zero. The cycle continues to move with constant velocity. Three seconds later it is at the point with position vector 14i plus 4j meters. And what we've got to do is find the velocity of the cycle. So to do this, if we just denote that velocity as being v, then it's going to be equal to the change in the position vectors. So we take the position vector after 3 seconds, which is 14i plus 4j. So we just put that in as 14i plus 4j. And from this we subtract its initial position vector which was 5i minus 2j. And this gives us the displacement between the two vectors and it took a period of 3 seconds to do this. So we divide by 3. If we simplify this now, what we've got is 14i minus 5i, so that's going to be 9i. And then for the j components, we've got 4j minus minus 2j, so it's going to be plus 6j. And that's divided by 3. So what we get now is a velocity which is going to be 3i plus 2j. So we've got 3i plus 2j and that's going to be meters per second. So I hope that's given you an idea then how we can go about finding velocity as being the change in the position vectors divided by the time taken.